Hey everybody, Dave Anania here again from Drum Trainer Online. And in this segment, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about funk music. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have spent about 10 years in Minneapolis, Minnesota, back in the 90s, which I'm giving my age away. Doesn't matter. What matters is, is that Minneapolis is one of the funkiest cities on the planet. And it actually has its own sound, the Minneapolis sound, which was created by an artist that you probably have heard of. His name is Prince. Uh, and he basically created that sound on his own. And it has a lot of really cool synth sounds that are sort of almost like horn section oriented, funky bass lines, this really tight funk skank guitar. Um, and it ended up becoming the staple sound of an actual, like a music culture throughout the 80s and even beyond. Uh, and all us kind of pretty much came from Prince. Um, and so I do want to talk about that a little bit. And, but there's such a rich history of funk that Prince was influenced by leading up to that point. Like everybody from James Brown, Tower Power, Sly and the Family Stone, uh, even Jimi Hendrix in some ways, um, a little bit of Earth, Wind and Fire. Like Prince was influenced by all of these artists and you can hear it in his music um, in very specific ways actually sometimes. Uh, but what I wanna to touch on, I'm just gonna to touch on some basics about funk drumming. Um, and later on, we're gonna we're gonna put a list up on on the screen and and recommend some some tunes for you all to listen to that are pretty legendary funk tunes. So we'll get to that in a bit as well. Um, first up, in the 1960s, there was I mean I I would have to say that funk music pretty much started with James Brown, and the two most famous drummers from James Brown's band were Clyde Stubblefield and Jabo Starks. And Clyde Stubblefield is known for the infamous, the funky drummer groove, um, although it obviously wasn't the only thing he played on with James. And Jabo Starks has this really cool thing where uh, it's been said that he's potentially responsible for the idea of bringing like a swing feel into funk. Like, uh, like the, the song Sex Machine, for example. And I'll play, I'll play that groove for you for a little bit. Um, first, what I'll do is I'll play the groove as if it was straight, and then I'll go into the swing feel. So here's a little bit of Sex Machine by Jabo Starks playing drums. And here is the swung version, which is more, this is the original. So you could hear the difference between the straight and the swung. And like I said, it's, um, it's known that Jabo is actually one of the first drummers to bring that into music with backbeats. And, uh, for me, that basically just opened the door for everything from, you know, New Jack Swing, Philly Soul, uh, hip hop, um, acid jazz, all of these grooves that came in the future basically stemmed from that music. So it's extremely important to check out some of that stuff by James Brown. Um, and there's tons of it. So, and uh, here's another example actually of a direct influence. Uh, there's um, a song called Super Bad by James Brown. It's very up-tempo. Uh, and then um, years later, Prince recorded a song called Sexy MF. And it's just basically that same kind of groove slowed down and swung. And it's a really unique groove, so I wanna play it for you. Um, the super bad groove is kind of up-tempo and it's a little straighter and it goes like this. So fast forward to 1992, and here is one of the most incredible drummers in the world, Michael Bland from Prince and the New Power Generation playing the groove for Sexy MF. And it's just the same thing, but it's slower and it's a bit greasier. So here it is.
Hey, beautiful drum nerds all around the world. If you like that video, please give us some love and click there for subscription. And if you want to see another cool video, click there and you see another cool video. How cool is that? So I hope to see you around. Stay tuned.